Our Juno Fashion editorial today is shot in quite an historical studio. We're in Shane McCarthy's studios, which when I started out my career about 25 years ago, this was Tony Higgins' studio, Kip Carroll, the names we all know today in fashion. So it was a real feeling for all of us at Deja Vu, and the, it was lovely to be back here. So we're shooting structural lingerie today because we've taken our theme from outerwear and mainstream fashion, which is so obsessed with structure and form for the outside of the body. And I thought, wouldn't it be really nice to bring that closer to home, back to the back? to the spine and I, I was really inspired by the notion of the spine and curve so I chose lingerie from different stores around Dublin and Irish designers as well to highlight this beautiful form that actually we all hide underneath our clothes. I have the attitude that every photographer has a particular skill, a particular lean. They're like artists, they have a flavour. And Peter, I always see Peter as a beautiful artist, as a photographer. He's painterly, he's, he's very visceral. And so there really was nobody else to shoot this as far as I was concerned. If you're going to get into something that's about the spine, it's about form, it's about beautiful light. And also that has a, a photographer has a kind eye towards women's bodies. Peter Evers is that man. So I really, in many ways, I structure this whole shoot around P Peter's own creativity. And I think it's really paid off when we see the results today. They're just so gorgeous. I quite like the fact that I don't look anything like what everyone else sees me, you know, with the normal kind of glamorous big hair, lots of smoky eye and all that. Um, Paula and Jenny did a wonderful job in hair and makeup and it's really nice to kind of, I suppose, encapsulate a character. We're kind of telling a story with the shoot, so it's really nice and different and it's almost like I get to play dress up all day. What we're going to try and make the final aesthetic of it look like is a, is a technique that was used uh, heavily in the, in the 90s and the early 2000s uh, called uh, cross-toning, which was achieved with wooden cameras and, and uh, Polaroids. In today's case, you're looking for something that's... Um, it's got a little bit of a, a punch to it, but it uh, allows you to see the, the curves of the, the body, it allows you to see the lines in a, in a, in a pleasing way, and the ratios aren't um, too aggressive, and they, they uh, just delineate the form nicely. And I'm not really, you know, I'm open to what, what goes on in a shoot as the day progresses, so we're just, we, we have a, a sort of a feel for what we're doing now, we just need to stick to that. Mm -hmm. 